Andrew Tate is not really talked about very much in marketing circles, but in my opinion, he is quite possibly the single greatest marketer on the face of the earth right now. And in this video, I'm going to show you his five-step strategy for how he brings in $96 million every single year in just one of his businesses. And if you want to see the numbers here, he has a, a subscription product that's $50 a month, right? And he's got, at the moment, 160,000 people subscribe to this. So $50 a month times 160,000 times 12 months in a year, $96 million per year. $96 million a year. And this is just one of his businesses, not including upsells. So just maybe this guy's strategy is worth paying attention to. And you're really going to want to watch this video till the end, because I'm going to go through exactly his five-step strategy for how he does this. This is a guy who's a son of a chess grandmaster, by the way. So you'll see, especially step number five is really the master stroke. It's just incredible. Oh, and by the way, this is a guy who's canceled on just about every major platform because he says things that are politically incorrect and, and they all canceled him, including all his payment processors, all his social media, even like Airbnb and Uber, like every tech company canceled him at the same time. And this is the kind of money that he's being, making after being canceled by all these companies. So not only is he making this crazy amount of money, but he's doing it at what would be considered a huge disadvantage for most of us. So here's the five-step strategy. Step one is having a captivating message. Andrew Tate's message, the things that he talks about, are instantly captivating to a lot of people. They grab attention from a lot of people and hold the attention for a long time. And there are three main reasons for that. Number one, it's countercultural. In other words, he's saying that everything that the mainstream says is a lie, that the mainstream is corrupt, they're lying to you, and they're keeping you a slave. They're keeping you stuck in the matrix because they're manipulating the information that comes to you, which most people realize, at least on some level, is absolutely true. It's a lot like that story of the emperor's new clothes, where these tricksters come to the emperor of the kingdom or whatever and, and pretend that they're creating this new set of clothes that's very special because only people that are smart and sophisticated are able to see the clothes. To everybody else, it's invisible. And so they present the clothes to the emperor and the emperor doesn't see anything. And so the emperor doesn't want to admit it because he doesn't want to want people to think that he's not smart and sophisticated. So he puts on the nothing that he pretends are clothes and he goes to all his advisors and all the court and shows the new clothes and explains that only smart and sophisticated people can see them. And all of the court says, oh, wow, what great new clothes right there. They don't see anything, but they're not going to admit it. Right. Because they don't want to admit that they're not smart and sophisticated. And then eventually, you know, the end of the story, a little child sees him and he says, hey, why is the emperor naked? And then all of a sudden, all the people realize that, yes, the emperor is naked. These clothes don't exist. It's just a mind trick. Right. And so Andrew Tate is acting like that little boy. Right. He's saying the things that everybody realizes are true, but that you're not allowed to say because of these rules of political correctness and whatnot. So not only is he saying that the matrix is tricking you and making you a slave, but if you will listen to what I'm saying, you can be rich and you can have all these supercars and you can have a life of freedom and you can travel where you want and you can have 10 passports and you can have all these beautiful women and you can have all of this stuff like I do because he's talk, he's walking the walk, right? Like he's showing all of the lifestyle that he lives and saying, hey, if you will accept this counterculture, if you will accept that the mainstream is lying to and you and you will wake up and you will escape the matrix, then you can have all these amazing benefits, right? Which is way more um, captivating than just the countercultural part alone. To convince people that they're being lied to is, you know, that, that works somewhat. But if you can convince them that they're being lied to and if they wake up and rise above all the lies, then they can have all these, this amazing lifestyle. Well, that's really, really captivating. And then to cap it off, number three is he has 100% conviction. 100% conviction. He absolutely 100% believes everything that he is saying. He is being very authentic with himself and he is aligned with it. You can see that he is walking the walk with everything that he says, that he believes this and he has created this amazing lifestyle for himself because he understands these things and because he himself has been able to, in his words, escape the matrix. So these three things make for an absolutely killer message that make people click and make people want to watch, which ultimately is what the social media algorithms are looking for, right? They're looking for how many people click 
on the video. And of those people who click, how long do they watch on average? Right. And the ones that get high click through rate and high watch times, those are the ones that the social media algorithms keep repeating and repeating and repeating. And it's kind of ironic because the social media, uh, <clears throat> And it's kind of ironic because the social media has tried to cancel him. But on the other hand, he is so well optimized for their own algorithms that they keep on pushing his content as much as they try to suppress it. So it's like the social media companies can't cancel him because it would bring down their entire system. All they can do is cancel his accounts, but they can't cancel all the people that are sharing his content, which is something we're going to get into on step five, which is really the stroke of genius here. Now, step two is other people's platforms. So once he has this captivating message, he needs to get it out to the world. And the way that he does that more than anything, especially now that his accounts are all blocked, is by getting on other people's platforms and particularly on other people's podcasts. He has people interviewing him and he's doing a ton of podcasts over a ton of different interests, right? Because he can hit the, the entrepreneurs, he can hit the dating coaches, he can hit the people that are, that are more politically oriented. He can use all of those different angles because they're all a part of his message. And so he's on all these other people's platforms, which is excellent because for one thing, he gets a new audience, right? Every time he's on someone else's platform, he gets to reach the audience of that person that's interviewing him. Number two is it creates a lot of content fast. So if he does an hour or a two hour long interview, well, that's all sorts of content that can be clipped into smaller pieces and repurposed elsewhere, right? So this long form content is, is great because they're the people that like to watch that long form content. For one thing, going back to the algorithms, the social media algorithms, they love long form because if the average person watches, let's say, 20 minutes of a two hour interview, well, 20 minutes is a lot. You know, some video, a lot of videos aren't even 20 minutes long. So even if people watch 100%, it wouldn't be 20 minutes. They want to keep people as long as possible on the platform. That's how the algorithm works. And so these long form videos themselves are awesome, but they're also clippable into smaller pieces. So other people can go and take pieces of those interviews and put them into 10 minute segments, or they can put them on TikTok in one minute segments. So there's all these combinations of, of material, whereas he just has to go and sit down for an hour and two hours and it turns into hundreds or thousands of individual videos. And all of those videos get shared around the internet on all the social media platforms, which again, we're going to get to in step five, which is ties everything else together. And then another benefit here is that it's cancel proof, right? If he's on a hundred other people's platforms on a hundred other people's podcasts, well, now they can't just delete his platform. They have to delete all hundred other people's platforms. And, you know, usually they use this kind of three strike system where they don't delete someone's platform until they have three strikes. Although I'm told that for him, they made an exception like they they deleted him on strike one. But generally, it's a lot harder to cancel a hundred or two hundred or a thousand other plat or uh, uh, people's platforms, especially if their content is not normally the same subject matter as Andrew Tate's rather than just canceling one. So it makes him really, really difficult to get rid of on the internet. So that's step two of the master plan. Step three is called MRR. Any of you marketing nerds will recognize that. That stands for monthly recurring revenue. Monthly recurring revenue is something that a lot of people desire to have in online business, which means that you get money coming in every month without having to make new sales, right? You get people on a subscription product. Now, Andrew Tate's main product is something called The Real World, formerly called Hustlers University, which is a subscription product that costs 50 or 49, I think, dollars per month. And so you sign up once and then you get charged every month thereafter. And so if you get 160,000 people all on your platform paying you 50 bucks a month, well, you're making a ton of money without really having to even get new customers, right? Just with the customers you already have, you're making a ton of money. And he also has a penalty for leaving, right? So when you join the, uh, the Hustlers University or the, the real world, this $50 a month program, then he gives you like a disincentive for leaving. It used to be that if you leave, you could never come back right, which is a serious FOMO trigger because a lot of people, when they sign up for something like this, especially if they don't spend a whole lot on it, then they just kind of forget about it and they never really use it. You know, it's kind of like a gym membership that somebody signs up for a gym membership and then they get distracted and they stop going to the gym. They really, they mean to go back to it, but they just don't, 
right? Well, it's the same thing with a uh, platform like this. And so what he can do is, you know, if the person realizes they're not using it, then they're tempted to just shut it off and then come back to it when they do use it. And so what he was saying is that, no, you can't do that, right? Like you, he's, he's kind of giving you an ultimatum. It's like you use it, you pay for it, or else you're not allowed back, which is a, a powerful uh, incentive to keep using the platform. Now he softened that a little bit. It's not the same as it used to be. Now it's just um, if you if you leave and then you want to come back, then it's an extra hundred and fifty dollars in order to come back, right? But still, it's like that makes you think twice. If you want to leave, you're saying, okay, well, I'm just not really using this platform because maybe I don't have time right now, but I, I'd probably want to do it sometime in the future. Well, now I got to pay an extra three months additional just to get back on it's like well maybe i'll just keep it 50 bucks a month isn't that bad so he's got a penalty for leaving um also on his platform he's not doing the teaching i mean he's got some videos on there but apart from that he has other people other professors he calls them that are doing the teaching they're teaching various ways of making money online and so he's really not having to do any maintenance at all it's all the other professors that are teaching this stuff so it's really easy i mean he basically just continues growing it and growing it and doesn't have to do anything additional himself. And this is pretty much infinitely scalable, right? Because you could have one person or a hundred people or a thousand people or 10 million people and nothing really changes, right? Because he's not offering any kind of one-on-one -on -one service. He's not offering any kind of live thing here. So it's really just completely scalable monthly recurring revenue with a penalty for leaving. So people don't want to leave. And he's also got a premium upsell. That is, he has another product that's related to his main MRR product that is a high ticket product that's an upsell. And that one is a mastermind group called the War Room that costs $5,000. And I believe he has upsells from there. I'm not, I don't know um, all the details, but basically you spend $5,000 once and you get this network of, you know, of higher level people that you can network with. And so of, the people that buy the MRR product for 50 bucks a month, some percentage of those end up buying the premium upsell and giving them $5,000. And by the way, when I was talking about the amount of money that he's making at the beginning, you know, 96 million a month, that's just from this, just from the MRR. From the premium upsell, I have no idea how much he's making, but I can be fairly confident that it's well north of 100 million per year. So, that's step four. Now, finally, step five. And this is really the thing that ties it all together. This is the thing that I thought was absolutely brilliant is that his customers are his affiliates. What do I mean by that? Well, this MRR product is all about how to make money on the internet. And so it's, he's teaching people a bunch of ways that they can make money on the internet. Now, one of the ways that he teaches and probably one of the most attractive ways to the people that are buying the product is to be an affiliate, right? Affiliate marketing means that you sell somebody else's product for them and you get a percentage of the sale. And so what he's offering is that you sell my MRR product for me, the one that you're already a member of, and I'll give you a percentage of that. And so I, you know, I don't know what his percentage is, but let's say it's 50%. And so you get somebody to sign up for this, then you get $25 a month in recurring revenue that you don't have to do anything for, just passive income. So he's getting his customers to sell his product for him. His customers are essentially becoming his employees. They're making money, he's making money, and this is the coolest part. The way that they sell his product is by reposting clips of his content, right? The content that we were talking about up here in steps one and two, his customers repost for him. So they'll take one of his two hour long podcast recordings and they'll take a 10 minute clip of it, put it up on their own YouTube channel, put it up on their own Instagram, their own TikTok. And he's got literally thousands of people that are repurposing and reposting his content. And then they repost his content, especially the things that are eye grabbing, that are, that are attention getting, that are catchy. And then they put their affiliate link in the description and say, Hey, if you like this, sign up for Andrew Tate's real world MRR program, right? So what's going on here is that he has this army of people that are all posting his content in different forms on their own social media accounts on every social media platform. So despite being canceled, 
he is growing and growing and growing and the number of accounts that are purely dedicated to just sharing Andrew Tate material is just increasing exponentially all the time. And it's really easy for the people because they don't even have to create their own content, right? They don't have to make videos. They just splice up his videos and share segments of it, put a catchy title on it, and they get a ton of views because his message is so good for the algorithm. It's so optimized to get people's attention. So they just clip up his content, post it on their own social media channels, and get views really easily because his content is so good for that. They make money and his business just keeps growing and growing and growing. So it becomes this thing that has a life of its own. It's this self-growing organism that just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And all he really has to do at all is just to do podcast interviews. And everything else is just done for him. So this is quite possibly the most brilliant marketing strategy that I have ever seen in my life. Now, there's two main components to this and why not everybody can just do it tomorrow. Number one is you have to have massive charisma. Right. And I believe that that's something that you can develop, but it's not something you're born with. And it's something that's probably going to take you a while. Andrew Tate has massive charisma. And so his content just naturally goes viral. And then number two is to have an absolutely genius strategy. And this is if there's ever been a genius strategy like this is it. This is amazing. So if you're looking at this and as amazed as I am and you'd like to do it, well, probably you're not going to be able to do it right away. However, you can absolutely get to a point where this is viable and there's a lot of money to be made along the way before you're anywhere near this level. And obviously, you're going to need to start somewhere that's more accessible. So for now, check out this video that's going to show you five different one person business ideas that'll work really, really well for somebody that's starting from zero, that doesn't have a big social media following, that doesn't have a bunch of Bugattis and stuff. So check that out now. I'll see you in the next video.